Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I'm doing okay. I'm listening to uh, um, some information on the ways of Cain. And when you first hear that, you think, well, that was murder. You know, there's a lot more ways to those Canaanites than people would believe. But um, I'll just, I'm going to share a video in this pertaining to that if you're interested. Um, and they're also talking about Paul in there and how he views women and his um, his outlook on, on what men think that, that Paul said that he actually didn't say the way they think he said it. But you would have to really dig into the scriptures to get underneath the division that was caused between people intentionally and the ones that to serve their own purposes are intentionally keeping that type of attitude going. Answer me this. Why does it say no man is above lady justice? Can you answer that? Just wondered. That's a woman's position, do you see? Not, maybe, I'm not maybe talking about all men and women in the world. I'm talking about the re representation of what is just. You know, and then I ran across uh, uh, Victor Frank said, no man should judge unless he asks himself first in absolute honesty whether in a similar situation he might not have done the same. So, a uh, similar situation, not your situation. I'm talking about my situation. You couldn't speak to it, although you think you can. You think you have that seat of judgment over me in some respect that you don't have. That's just, uh, you know, whether or not a person likes me, hey, that's cool. There's all kinds of likable people out there that stab you in your back in a heartbeat. Well, have at it, you know, whatever. I've, I've said over and over again that if I get to that point where my upsets are like ooh, up to there or whatever, and I'm out here and I'm talking to my friends, mind you, and family members, Or people that are just entertained, whatever the case may be. I'm speaking from my heart and my soul and there's nothing evil in there. If you see something else, it's what you want to see for your own demented pleasures. So, like I say, have at it. You know, you don't belong here. And you'll never belong in my life. We don't wait till later to see if we like what is justice or not. When I'm talking to people that are um, trafficking and, and harming and doing things, and these are the type of people I'm speaking to, I'm not speaking to normal people that would never harm another human being. I'm talking to monsters. If you can't handle that, which you don't, and I'm the one who does, then you might want to sit back and just respect the fact that I have enough gumption and backbone to do and say what needs to be said to these monsters. So, there you go. And, yeah, I'm still on that same... Uh, 
that same mode of thought. Yeah, it pisses me off that men can go out there with their big mouths, say anything they want to say when they have an upset in their life. But the minute I do, I'm shamed for it. Somebody does me wrong. Ah, sweep it under the rug, no big deal. Somebody does you wrong and the whole world's going to know about it. Forever. You know? So, whatever. I guess you really need to be in the situation in your life where you're working and you can't be home with your child because you were lied to in your life. And then you uh, find out that your child had been abused in the meantime by the dark cabal. Or have one of your ch children actually die because of the dark cabal. Till you're in my shoes. You can't speak to how I feel or what those people need to hear. You take your judgment somewhere else, somewhere where you feel it's worthy. Well, you'll probably be mistaken again, evidently. So, like I say, whether you like me or not, that's no concern of mine. Nothing I can do about it, and I will not beg people. In fact, the minute you turn on me, you made an enemy, and that's the way it is. There's nothing you can do to change that. I'll never trust you again. Especially older adults. Have at it. Say and do anything you want to do. Doesn't make it right. But if you think it does, because of my harsh language. Yeah. Last time I saw language kill somebody, which it never did. Can you remember the last time somebody called you a name and your boo-boo feelings got hurt? Never been sworn at? Did you ever deserve it? Or do you think that when you do something heinous to somebody, they're just supposed to come up and say, well, that's okay. I'm going to turn the other cheek for about the 7,000th time and just in one lifetime and just let you continue to tread on me and not say or do anything or even employ any kind of help towards the dark cabal. No. I'm just supposed to sit here and let these monsters keep doing what they're doing to people and not say anything in the way I say it. Not you. I'm not you. I don't want to be you. You're just a little too fluffy for me. I need somebody who's not afraid to get out there as friends. And speak your mind in the manner if if a word comes out. Uh, the rest of your friends that are like you, like-minded, they're going to know why that came out like that. Because they're going to trust and love you for who you are and the righteousness within you. And they're going to see that. And they're not going to condemn it because they understand the hell you and yours have been put through. And they allow it. In fact, I not only allow that out of my friends, and I expect that out of them occasionally. Um, it's welcome. You know. And I'm not talking about some foolish little thing that is trying to impress with, with a veracity that they don't possess because they're they're too fluffy. They're they're um, girly boys and um, or neutral women, whatever whatever you um, people have been from the beginning of time that were just a little not really like one thing or the other. 
type of thing. I'm sick of everybody's confusion. You can call it love. Hey, that's cool. I'm sure the devil loves himself too. You know, say what you want to say. I don't care. I really don't care anymore. I've been betrayed up to here. I've had enough of it. If you can't stand on what's righteous for the little people in this world, you don't need to stand at all. That's my opinion. And once again, what you do is fine. Unless it falls on little people's ears and eyes, and then it's not fine anymore. Then the protectiveness of a true parent is going to come out and put you in check. That's, that's the way life is meant to be. Oh, I know. Um, there's some people where you're never going to say a thing to nobody about nothing. Unless it suits you to do that. You know. But like I said, if you think that I'm going to ever change in that respect, I'm not. And if you don't like me now, you're never going to because I've always been the same. So, I got in trouble even when I was a little kid. And I grew up around some really wicked stuff. Yeah, my mouth got me in trouble. And yeah, but why? A neighbor kid threw a rock into the head of my dog. So I called him an effer. And I don't think I was even five yet. And then I tried to run him down. And he ran into his garage and shut the door. And I was out there with my mouth. Telling him to come out because I was going to smash his head like he did my dog. That's my personality. And I was doing that when I was a little kid. So I'm pretty sure not going to change. Or like uh, people getting hurt around me and stepping in and putting a stop to that. I'd, I'd bet almost anything that 90% of the people that watch me, so if there's nine of you, one would feel like me and step in and stop the abuse towards people. One other person, maybe. And the rest of you wouldn't. Why is that? Out of fear? I'll look at some memes. Maybe I can brighten the mood a little bit. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still uh, pissed off at the betrayals, but that's okay. Yeah, sometimes, just sometimes, when people say forever, they actually mean it. Yeah, and my friend wrote, picture this, love. Yeah. I only answered a one, and it isn't a man. Oh, yeah. Post the truth. Let them hate you, unfriend you, block you, and mock you. We are here to feed the lions, not entertain the sheep. Got that right. Uh-huh. 
Had to tell an old timer. Whoa, 68 years old. Happy birthday. Bob Gill Patrick, if you know of him at all. He's kind of kind of a somewhat of a celebrity. Oh, wow. People are so used to others being indirect and phony that clearly direct communication appears gr aggressive. Well, I know it does if I say I'm going to come to where you live and um, <clears throat> express what I'd like to do. He who dares not offend cannot be honest. Tom and Thomas Paine. God, is somebody else out there feeling like me? Wow. Maybe, huh? Oh, yeah. You ain't too old to start over. And you know what? I used to say ain't when I was a little kid to bug my very literate parents. Um, and then they put it in the dictionary. But I'm still one to, it kind of rubs me the wrong way um, grammatically that um, you are not too old to start over. You're too old to keep doing what isn't working. Did you hear that? You men that want to sway who I am and what these people need. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, this is true. Do you ever mention someone in your prayers? Then you feel bad for not mentioning other people. Then suddenly you're including the whole population. Yeah, that's the way it should be. People say they do, but yeah, right. <laughs> sure thing, liars. I used to post quite often. I wondered if another woman, say, like the same age as me, over in other countries, like, um, cried for me like I would cry for them. I could just envision something horrible. And um, maybe. Uh, yeah, takes a dumb some uh, to want four more years of what we just had. Well, how about uh, six decades of it, and then you're starting to put the pieces together that it's always been fake? Yeah, right. Those who lack courage will always find a philosophy to justify it. That's so true. Oh, yeah. I am in my I know my worth era. Anything that doesn't value me, my presence, and my energy will simply be removed. And don't forget it. If you can't do what you need to do for justice sake, you're, you don't, we don't need you. 
nobody does your work with. If you can't stand up for what's right in the world and be protective of those that can't protect themselves, what does the world need another one of you for? There's millions of it just, just the same. Everybody out there, these men thinking, oh, you're all Jesus. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. It sounds to me like you might be a bit irreplaceable. I've kind of, people have sort of hinted at that with me. And it's like, yeah, I know that's maybe what you think. But we all know there's something a little bit different about me. So don't, don't teach me something you haven't actually learned. You can just um, go on based of the assumption of what other people are and what you are yourself or ho how you might react in a situation that you know absolutely nothing about. I'm not backing down on this ever. If I say I feel like coming, going to somebody's house and they have to look over their shoulder, I mean that 100% and I am not playing. I'll start with words, but I've been known to make people swing on me. And you're all men. You're all men. That would swing on a woman. Yeah, you would. I can tell by the way you treat people out on the internet. That's obvious. The only reason you probably haven't is because it would probably include jail time. Well, with me, it's not like that. In fact, when the way I grew up and up around where I lived, we don't always call the cops. We have a tendency to um, deal with people, not in a physical manner, but they know it could become like that. We are not, we're a little different around here. We're not, as I would say, city-fied. Even when I was a little kid and I lived on the edge of the city, I wasn't really city-fied. I was like um, tanning hides in my bedroom and sewing moccasins and doing beadwork and uh, all kinds of stuff. I would do like chemistry stuff I did in the basement. Well, we had a... Uh, oh, like a recreation room down there, but we had a ping pong, pong table that we would put a piece of plywood on when we wanted to use it for like a workbench or that type of thing. Then I would sit at that and do little experiments and that type of thing, build little rockets and take them out and, you know, stuff. The messy stuff. Of course, I did do some messy stuff in my room, but I would change. I would like uh, um, remodel my room quite often. I had a aunt and uncle that owned a paint and um, carpet and linoleum store in Anoka. So I could go get like a remnant of a really cool carpet or some really neat wallpaper and I could just like redo my whole room. Um, yeah. I started uh, 
working on my bathroom yesterday that I got um, waylaid from when I got my uh, materials to redo that. So I'm uh, back into little steps. I had other stuff to do, but I have to move some stuff. And we have a new medicine cabinet to put in there, so I've got to, like, get things out of there before I can actually work on it more, so. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, that little kitty that got hurt. Um, Doug calls M. M is doing better today. Uh, she showed me that she's eating something. First one I saw her this morning, she was sitting out by where the bonfire pit is. And uh, she was grooming herself, which is a good thing. And then when I went out to feed them a little bit later, um, she was walking slow, but she got over there and she was eating with all the rest of them. So, <clears throat> yeah, I put enough out where they have food, like, through the day. There's usually crunchies or different things I give them like leftovers like all day so yeah they do hunt and they keep the mice down and occasionally get a bird or whatever bunnies whatever but um yeah they're they're good little good little animals yeah. i still think one of her brothers hurt her Yeah, I have an adopted brother that did more than hurt me. Whoa. And things, talk about monsters. When when you have people that are um, masonically connected, talking in the ether, guided by the dark force, and can do something to you or your children and not be punished for it, well, you might feel like I do sometimes in my life towards people like that. Yeah. Anyway. But then I have a half-brother that actually is a trained boxer. And he would never lay a hand on a woman. But then that's my half of my blood anyway. His father was a boxer. Also, but yeah, some men wouldn't, some men wouldn't, I guess, but I think most men would. I wonder if he'd cry if I call him a bad name. I wonder if he'd hate me if I called him a bad name. These, I'm, and I mean, I met my brother, but I did not grow up with my siblings. And I have a lot of them <laughs> that I didn't grow up with any of them. I've known of them for about half my life now, so. Other than that, I was pretty much, and still am, pretty much on my own all the time, at all times, entirely. If you can say that, well, then it might give you, it might give you a little bit of insight to how combative I am. And why I am. When you're doing things all by yourself. I mean, I have I have God helping me. Yeah. But if you can say that's all you've ever had. With no help whatsoever. In times when you needed it. Whether it was with uh, a vehicle or whatever. There's a lot of people that had family help them out. I had to 
work my way through my turmoils. And I'm sure a lot of you did too. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you start out with people that actually nurture you and not torture you, it makes a big difference. And if you still have people in your life from your childhood, you're very fortunate and you are not in a position where you could speak to my life because it doesn't even hold the candle in that. It's different. So I'm going to get this uploaded. And I appreciate you joining me. If you're interested in uh, um, the bastardization of the gospel of Paul, that men will put on women because they think it's funny along with their biting the apple bullshit, although God blamed Adam, but he kicked them both. You people don't even know what you're reading. You don't care, and we'll just leave it at that. When I hear the stupid stuff, I'm just going to have to realize that these are idiots that don't have the grace within their soul to dig deeper with things or, or to learn different things because they just can't make themselves expand their brain. It's not elastic anymore. I don't know if it's because of drugs or alcohol, influence, whatever it is. There's some, some kind of blockage there that's not letting the truth and the... And, and the um, justice that needs to be done that ha the disservice that's happening towards women and children that I am combating so, like I say say what you will so thank you for being here peace and love from Pine City Minnesota USA have a good night or day wherever you're at